So we have a circle that starts with an initial radius of 50 feet, and then the radius begins to decrease at a rate of two feet per minute. We wanna find the rate of change of the area of this circle at the instant that the radius is 13 feet. So this is what we call a related rates problem. We're given one rate here, and that is the rate with which the radius is decreasing. What that means mathematically in this case is dr dt, that's the rate of change of the radius, is going to be negative two, and that's negative because the radius is decreasing. We're asked to find the rate of change of our area, and using calculus notation, that means that we need to find the ADT, the rate of change of the area. We call this a related rates problem because we need to find a relationship between this rate and this rate. Once we know the rate that we have and the rate that we need to find, in every related rates problem, we need to find a relationship between the variable that is right here and the variable that is right here. In this case, we need to relate A and R. Well, since we're talking about a circle, we know that the area of a circle is given by the formula pi r squared. Then, in every single related rates problem, we're going to take a derivative of this relationship with respect to t. The derivative of a with respect to t can just be written dA dt. Pi is a constant, so it can be pulled outside of the derivative. And the derivative of r squared with respect to t is actually a chain rule, or an implicit derivative. We start with the outermost function, that's this r function squared. That means we bring the 2 down, we reduce the power on r from 2 to 1, and then since r is changing with time, r is a function of t. The chain rule then says that we need to multiply by the derivative of that inner function. That inner function is just called r, and the derivative of that is dr dt. So let's reevaluate what we're doing here. We decided that we need to find dA dt. That's right here. We know that we were given that dr dt is negative 2, so that's going to be plugged in right here. All we need now is a value of r to find our answer, and we're looking for this rate of change at the instant that the radius is 13 feet. That tells us that we're going to be using r equals 13 in this problem. So let's finish this problem up. We're plugging r equals 13 and dr dt equals negative 2. Multiplying that all together gives us negative 52 pi. Our units can be found using several different methods, but a change in area with respect to time, since we're using feet and minutes, is going to be given by square feet per minute. That is an exact answer, and that means that the area of this circle is decreasing at a rate of 52 pi feet squared per minute. If we wanted to approximate this answer, we would plug this into a calculator. And that would give us about 163.4 feet squared per minute. And I think that that's going to do it for this problem. Let's try another one in the next video. I'll see you there.